Hey, welcome back everybody to the Flower Gold Wizard Channel. I just walked 200 miles. It's hot. <laughs> Rick Bowen over there, he's with me today. He's my mining partner. We're at a really good spot right here on the beaches of Lake Superior. We've done really well here in the past and I brought some new equipment down here, bigger and newer. We're gonna give that stuff a whirl. There are a number of flies down here but there's a nice wind coming from that way right there and it's supposed to pick up a little bit today. So as long as you're not walking down the beach attracting more flies, uh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, if I see Rigby getting bit too many times or just being uncomfortable, well, we'll get him out of here. So right now, I'll show you where we're gonna work and I'll show you what I found. Well, here's the gear I brought. Now I made this great big huge beach box. That's four feet long right there all day long, 10 inches wide. And I've got my new mat down in one of these pails here. This pack right here is heavy. I have all kinds of stuff. I'm pushing 80 pounds with everything I brought along today uh, just to make it back to this spot. Like I said, that's a 242 mile walk. And the beach has covered up quite a bit of the work we did before. And this was all cobbles up in this area here. And uh, we had some, some wind storms not too long ago and it pushed all this sand up there and and whatnot and I could see somebody else has been down in here working that's not for me and that is not for me and that is not for me uh, I'm assuming they did pretty good because I did pretty darn good too and uh, I know they didn't dig down and get it all there's still plenty of black sand to be had and now that this has all been reworked a little bit I might have to do just a little bit of testing but I still think we're gonna do just fine it's a nice day isn't it rig bone <laughs> Yeah, the flies aren't bugging him too bad at all. There's hardly any on him anymore. So I think we're in good shape. Let me get this baby set up and I'll show you what it's all about. All right, now I'm in the process of getting set up here. And this is a new system for me. I mean, I have tested it at home, but now with this particular pump or my brand new beach battery right here. This baby weighs 14 pounds. It has 50 amp hours on it. This battery is, let's see here. 8.5 amp hours so you round it off and do the math and you get 45,000 hours well not really but more than I had on my other battery so it's gonna work well now it's a 2,000 gallon pump an hour so I brought a speed controller just to make sure that working with this raw beach sand that I wasn't gonna be running a little bit too hot and I couldn't do anything about it now I'll show you my sluice box yeah 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 we'll get shoveling relax that's one tough mind boss right there <laughs> All right, here's my new mat right here. This is a VDR uh, sluice system right here, and I get that from Infinity Prospecting. Now this mat is similar to the mats I ran before, and I still do, but on the other mats, there's an area right here, a flat area in between the, the bottom edge of this and the top edge of this drop riffle right here, and it's about a half to a three quarters of an inch wide. Well, they got rid of that and replaced it with, well, no space. Now these are a little bit bigger than in my other mats and they added a indicator mat here. Now that is in, an invaluable tool when you're running because when you shovel material on that, on that uh, indicator mat, you can tell exactly how much gold you're putting in your sluice each and every single scoop. So if I want to take a sample from over there, I'll throw it on there. If there's some gold, I'll just brush it off, take a sample from over there throw it on there and if there's more gold over there well then I'll keep pumping that material on the sluice piece of cake now underneath here you can see on the back side there's a one and a half inch uh, nozzle right there attachment what I did to, to even that water out because it really comes forcing out of there with 2,000 gallons an hour and it comes rushing out of here and it's white water and all that so instead of filling this bottom up with uh, char broil or whatever I just attached my little French fry cooker right to the back side of that thing in there where that nozzle comes through the back and I filled it up with steel wool. That's going to crash, the water is going to crash into that thing and splash all in all different directions and water will come out nice and flat under this rubber mat. So I think we're going to get set up real quickly here. Rig Bone over there, he's ready to, ready to go. <laughs> so let me get some water, etc., and we'll start running. All right, let's turn this water on. See how everything's looking. And there it comes. It's coming out of there real nice and flat. 
It's hard to see because the water's so darn clear, but there's lots of water coming out of there. That should work real well. Now I do see it's leaking right here quite a bit. This pipe doesn't fit on there just the way I want it to, I don't think. But like any good outdoorsman, like my mind boss, we have a little safety kit right here. Now I've got some some band-aids in here and some extra little wing nuts for my for my gear in case I lose something, a lighter, and some toilet paper. You know, for homecoming or something like that. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these here band-aids. I'm gonna wrap them around my the little fitting on the back here just to get a little bit tighter seal so I'm not running for water all day. If it was just a drip, I might not worry about it, but that's a little too much. So we're gonna shut this baby down and do a little doctoring. All right, I'll check that. All better. First test pan, that hole right there that somebody else dug. I just dug right there, right in the sidewall, and it's pretty darn good. There's 20 pieces in this pan right here, and a couple of them are a little bit bigger. Now that was a one cup sample, one lousy cup. I wonder what that pile's doing up there. I might do a little test pan of that, but first I'm gonna gra gather a five gallon pail of that stuff right there just so I can run some material through there because it is worth running, definitely. There's 20 pieces in one cup, while there's 5,000 cups in a five gallon pail. All right, we are running. I'm getting a little bit concerned with the size of these drop riffles right here. The other size uh, riffles, they weren't catching all these rocks about this size or so. They would roll right on by, but these being a little bit bigger, catch them. Now I have spotted a couple of pieces of gold, like that one right in there, uh, being trapped in these vortices here. But I also noticed that they don't hold on to much other material other than those little pebbles and a little bit of black sand down in the down in the bottom there. So I don't know exactly what uh, what's going on without really running a lot through there, but I have noticed you can really throw on a lot of material. I mean, it, the bigger, the bigger drop ripples and vortices definitely chew through the material a little bit better, but they're, but they're catching all these darn rocks here. And I do have my other mat in the truck. <laughs> what a dummy. So we're gonna run a five gallon pail, do a little clean out and see what that's all about. And if I'm not capturing the gold that I think I should be, because we did do a test pan, I'm taking the march back to the truck and I'm gonna grab my other mat and throw it in here. Cause I didn't drive all the way up here and walk 832,000.4 miles for nothing. All right, we've got five gallons run. I'm gonna do a quick cleanup. Set my battery down here. Do a little mat inspection. And we might as well do that together. I haven't even looked yet. So I'll just kinda Take a quick glance in there, see if I can see anything in particular. Uh, boy, if that's a piece of gold right there, we're in real good shape. By golly, I think that is a piece of gold, a great big one. Holy cow, that might be the biggest piece of beach gold I've ever gotten. That's huge, for sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snuffer that baby up. But I don't see a whole lot in my riffles anywhere. There's a couple of pieces scattered about up in there. There's another one there. But the proof's in the panning. That's for one thing. So let me get this stuff in the pan, show you the proof. Rigby's hard at work. No flies whatsoever. We're in good shape.
One nice thing about these mats is they clean out like a breeze. Yeah. All right, there's a lot of little pebbles in there, that's for sure. But I have been seeing some gold as I'm kind of swishing this stuff around. And those pebbles come right to the top. But I am doing it in a safety tub right here, and I'll bring all these concentrates home. And uh, we'll do a, a classified version of the cleanup a little later. So I'm going to do this real quickly. This stuff is just so, so heavy. I mean, a number of you out there have gotten my black poison pay dirt before. Well, this is it right here, the exact material. <laughs> All right, let me get this done off camera. Rigby's going in the shade over there. It's warm. Here's our cleanup right here. Now there's a fair number of pieces in there for five gallons. Anywhere else, that would be just fine. But I, I really think we should have gotten more than that. And I'm putting pretty big shovels on there, I get it, but I think that that sluice, the, the mat itself can handle it, but it's the rocks. The rocks are kicking stuff down and I think we're losing gold out the end. So I'm gonna have to figure something out because I didn't bring my classifier down here. I might have to test around in some more of these areas where there's not as many rocks. And if we can find something real quickly, uh, we'll, we'll run that stuff there. Otherwise, I think we're just gonna have to uh, work through this and get maybe a little bit less or send him back to the truck. All right, I think I found us a nice little pile. Grab a little bucket of water here. Look at how clean this water is. It's clear as a bell. And ice cold too. We'll get back up here and I'll show you that pile that we're gonna run now. Hey, yeah. Right over here. That pile is just sitting there next to that old arrow unknown prospector left me. As you can see, a lot of this beach a lot of the canyon side has caved in and this there is plenty of beach behind this stuff here well there's not now well somebody left a big pile of, of black sand right there and i initially thought it was tailings or something so i took a scoop out of there a cup or half cup or something and i panned it out and there was uh, i don't know a dozen 13 pieces in there but they're fairly good sized so i think i can run that stuff and while that's running I could test around a little bit here and there, maybe run down into those cobbles and dig a couple trenches, like this trench here I just dug. I took a sample right out of there, and there was, I don't know, six or seven pieces in it. Nothing to get too excited about. There's plenty better here. Somebody's been sampling a little bit here and there. We're gonna find it, one way or the other. Back in a bit. I don't know if somebody was saving that for themselves, but thanks a lot. the sheriff he even gave me a wave <laughs> it's snack time that's right today's snack time is brought to you by papa's meats on fourth street looks like some cheddar brats of some sort or another it's my first time trying them but i ain't trying it until he tries it that's right he needs that he's a hard working miner watch this you're gonna see something totally insane right here. I'm gonna grab that piece of layer right there. I'm gonna grab a little handful right there. Just like that, right off the top, that much. I'm gonna pan out that much and see what's in it. I just did it a little while ago and wow. One little bitty pinch. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. All right, it's time to get the heck out of here. We moved an awful lot of material today. <laughs> that is one big hole. That is one big pile. I gotta fill that all in. And I've got my last cleanup right here. This thing really catches a lot of, a lot of concentrates. And I see the piece of the day. Oh, well, I saw it. <laughs> it was just in there somewhere. But this stuff is just packed with gold. There it is right there. Look at that bad honker. Look at this, this that's about an inch thick. And I'm just fanning this back right now. And as you can see, every time you do that, I don't know, a hundred more pieces show up. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. It's gonna be one heck of a cleanup for sure. And I've got a whole pile in this little green bucket over here. That's for one thing, and some cool rocks. And the flies are starting to come out a little bit, so we're gonna wrap it up. I might have something to check on the way back, but if I don't end up stopping there, we'll pick it back up next to the Fridge of Wonder. Come on, Rig, fill in that hole. All right, we are gonna try something a little bit different. We're just about out of the spot where I gotta have the boy on a leash here. And we gotta go up into the woods and down that way because of all these darn trees blocking our path here. But we'll make our way one way or the other. In this section of the beach, there's all kinds of black sand everywhere. Now I don't need to test all this stuff because I have something specific in mind that I was told about and I'm gonna check it out shortly as soon as I get around that. Well, we're making our way through this big tangle here. That away. I mean, it is a tangle, like you wouldn't believe. And I came across these old uh, deck boards here. Those things are quite huge, quite large indeed. And this used to be like an old lumber mill down in here. And it's obviously all washed out. Matter of fact, I used to mine here way out there when the beach was way out there. And this stuff is, is really starting to show itself now. And it was always buried before. Pirates used to come here and trade for lumber. All right, we're not quite to the spot yet. I think it's way down there. But I'm gonna check out some of this area right here. I'm getting tired. <laughs> We've been at it all darn day. Look at all this black sand down here. There ain't a foot track to be seen anywhere. Nobody's walking through that. Maybe a one or two people. Oh, that are crazy. <laughs> but I tell you what, there's plenty here to check, so let's go check it. Well, I just did a three finger pinch. All right, next to the shovel there, just a little skim off the top, maybe a quarter inch thick. And there's some pieces in there, that's for sure. I don't know, maybe six or seven pieces. And they're not bad size either, but there's so much to choose from around here. What I'm looking for are little bitty offlets of water, like groundwater coming out of the forest here where it's concentrating some of this black sand and I haven't really found too much of that yet. I'm assuming it's way down there further because I started off a little earlier than I probably should have. <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll walk up a little bit further but I'm getting a little bit done and there's just so much black sand here. I mean, if you wanted to pound numbers, you could just come down here, sit right on that stuff and get a good pile of gold in a day. It's just so easy to work. Let's go see if we can't find 20 in a three finger pinch. You guys want to see some black sand? Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. How'd you like to get that in your pay dirt bag? Oh man, oh man. Just as heavy as heavy could possibly be. Look at this stuff. Oh my gosh. And deep. Oh crap. But I'm going to go a little bit further. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. Well, I think this is where I stop. See that? That's a big old down tree right there. I'm not crawling up that thing right there. And neither is rig bone. But I'll show you what I did find. A really nice deposit of black sand. Similar to the one we were working this morning. Right on top of that brown stuff right there. And it's built right into the bank all the way along there. And it's kind of shedding out and creating little, little pools of it right here. So I got a sample right there right out of here so we'll go see if there's anything in it p.s i got a hole in both of my waders mm. 
Well, we didn't find anything better than what we were mining this morning. And we did pretty darn good. I can't wait to get this stuff back. How about you, Rick Bone? All right, we're gonna jam some tunes and go hit the fridge of wonder. To the New York Island, from Redwood Forest, the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. Hey, there you guys are. We made it back. I might as well grab a little something out of the fridge of wonder, if you know what I mean. First things first, here's our concentrates right here. There is a ton. Look at that. That's pretty thick, a couple inches thick for sure. We're going to do some classifying and some, I'll get my um, VDR cleanup sluice out. But I wanted to put side by side together here for you and show you what was going on. And you can see how large these are compared to the original mat that I had. Even these are quite a bit bigger and the bottom has, has a quite a bit uh, bigger pan, if you will, at the bottom there. And there's no gap in between this section right here and this, like you see this here. And the water has a chance to build up a little bit more speed going across this stuff. And it pushes those rocks right off there, whereas this one here was catching them, as you can plainly see. So we're going to see if it did any damage or not. All right, I'll take my little wizard spoon. <laughs> and we'll commence to turning this into bigs and littles. We'll pan out the bigs, and we'll run the littles over my cleanup sluice. <laughs> all right here's all the gold from the bigs but nothing here's all the small material and there's a ton of it so we're going to start feeding that to our cleanup sluice here i'll throw a couple on there and we'll take a little gander and see if we can spot any gold right off the get-go i know i sure saw an awful lot out in the field let me grab this here photo taking machine here let's see what we can see in there I might have to turn that up just a little bit, but you can definitely see gold starting to show up once that black sand folds over. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty darn good. Let me turn that water down. There we go. See, I had I gotta turn it up just a little bit more to get rid of that that black sand and that indicator mat, but we're in business. Let's feed it. And our concentrates are gone. They're all in the sluice. I got my little lobster going. One <laughs> of the commenters said, when I use this thing, it always looks like a lobster when I'm done feeding. That's well, just the shape of the water coming out of there and it splashes right there. But anyway, it's looking pretty good. I can see gold, quite a bit of gold, probably from halfway to there and then a couple of specks down in this area. So I'm gonna shut this thing down all the way. And we're gonna put it in a pan, see what we get. And there's our gold, all in a little frying pan. I'm gonna run that in the house, throw it on the stove. I don't have my furnace running in here, but it looks pretty darn good. There's some pretty, pretty nice looking pieces in there for sure. There's a couple of little chunky ones. All right, let's go get this stuff dried up and we'll weigh it up. All right, here's our gold all dried up. That didn't take long at all. Pretty nice looking stuff if you ask me. I just hope there's enough of it. I mean, we did all right. I think the last time we were out there, we ran 10 pails. We ran 10 pails today. We had 0.59 last time. So I would expect it to be pretty darn close. See if those rocks messed with me or not. Get that all in there nice. Yeah, it's not the best, 0.36. But we did learn a lot of stuff about that new mat. You definitely have to classify. Uh, th those other mats I have, the material just kind of rolls right on off of them. I think the water picks up a little more speed with those flat spots. Uh, but if you want to classify, that thing would work flawlessly, I bet. Uh, I'm glad I have it in my arsenal. <laughs> uh, we have a couple of six inch VDR sluices. I might just piggyback those. Uh, those things work fantastically as well. Uh, it'll be 12 inches wide basically and the same length. Who knows, it's a long season. So, until the next episode, like, share, subscribe. Please do leave a comment. It helps build our channel. Flower Gold Wizards, out.